Welcome back to Zachus. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. Today is all about routers. I'm going to do a comparison on the Google Nest, the brand new Google Nest, and the Orbi 6 AX4200. And I'm also going to throw in some options for the AX6000. Here we go. I did, I did several videos on routers. Um, my favorite so far is the Orbi 6. It is the king of routers right now. Comes in about $800 for two and about a thousand for a three pack. It is screaming speeds, especially if you're on like Comcast, Fios, something like that. AT&T kind of is throttling a little bit. I don't know why. Some people reported that AT&T is not. So it just depends on the area, it seems, and the wiring in your house. But a lot of you guys wrote me about this one, and it's the AX4200. It's a little downgrade from the Orbi 6, the AX6000 that I originally did, or 5200, I'm sorry, that I originally did. It's a different SKU, different model. It looks very similar, and it is, it is almost uh, screaming at the high points of the Orbi 6. Um, Orbi 6 is at 6 gig gigabits per second. This is at 4.2. Um, this is a three pack where the Orbi 6 is standard at a two pack. So um, it only does six rooms. This one does seven plus rooms, depending on your square footage, layout, the obstructions in your house, that kind of thing is going to depend on your actual speeds across your mesh network. It does have Wi-Fi 6 on it, which is coming screaming out into 2021. Um, a lot of new devices are coming with the support Wi-Fi 6. A lot of routers are coming out that do Wi-Fi 6, and it's just going to bump up your speed, your support, all the great things that we've been needing for a long time from our Wi-Fi network systems. Getting a three-pack too gives, just gives you a little bit more extension regardless of your square footage. If you're in a house that's over 2,500 square feet, this is definitely a cool pack for you. It came in for me about 450 because Costco was running a deal. I think normally it's 500. Still a great deal for an upscale router. And of course with Costco's you get the incredible return policy that they have, their customer support that they have. You get some free stuff like the Netgear Armor and um, uh, an extra year of warranty and just as I mentioned about the customer service you can return things at Costco's I mean if you just don't like them a year later if you're just like this isn't working um, I bought this here it's not working they will just give your money back as long as you have a receipt or they can pull it up on your through your membership and you're still a member and stuff um, I love Costco's I'm a huge fan of theirs not a huge fan of their mask policy but we'll get into that in another video and then of course Google came out with their Google Nest and they reduced their Wi-Fi down from Google Wi-Fi to Google Nest Wi-Fi to two by default. You can get a three pack, but the, pr the price comparison is now two to the three pack of the Google Wi-Fi. It does not have Wi-Fi 6 and they also uh, made the point, the mesh system that goes away from the router a Google speaker so by doing that they took out all the network connections the RJ45 uh, connections so it has no connections in it except for a power cable it plugs up and connects to the router um, so that's a huge downfall a lot of people need to connect um, devices that are not wireless into uh, their points um, this Orbi 6 uh, either the Orbi 6 or this Orbi um, 6 from Costco's, uh, the AX4200 has um, the connections in all the points. So if you have a device that's not Wi-Fi compatible that you need to plug up, or you just wanna get better speeds by being directly connected with your computer or something, you can do that with this one. You can't do that with this one. Now Google Wi-Fi had every, every one of their um, pucks is what I call them. They look like hockey pucks. Um, were basically the same and one would just become the router and then the others would be points it was just basically like the way the software configured it they all had the same connections they all were the same they changed that with the Nest Wi-Fi you have an actual router and it has two RJ45 connections one for your internet and one extra and then they have the point now you do get like a Google Home 
version in this point where you can talk to it and say, hey, Google, play music, or what's the weather, or all, you know, lock the doors, turn the lights on, which is kind of cool. I mean, you're basically, it's basically like a $50 upgrade because um, you would pay about 50 bucks, $49 for a Google Home Mini, and that's basically what it is, and it's a point. The downside of this is I can max out speeds at only like 250, 300 on this. Um, I have a gigabyte of speed, and so if, if you have like a hundred or 200 megabytes per second, this is probably perfect for you. You're gonna get about half that and it's gonna work great for you. Now, if you're in a house over 2,500 square feet, regardless of what they say on Google, I would do a three pack because I could not get the speeds that they claimed I could get across my house. And my house is a new construction and so I shouldn't have any strange, weird old barriers um, it should be built for that kind of stuff, but you never know. With this one, you're going to scream about anywhere from 500 to 700, depending on your settings, if it's a bypass, or if you're going to do um, a pass-through or something like that. Um, whatever you're, depending on your carrier, your provider, and the setup you have. The Orbi 6 that I did a video on before, that will do six um, gigabytes per second. You really don't need that unless you're at least at two gigs in your house or your business. Um, you're fine spending a little less and getting the three pack and getting this one plus getting the extra stuff from Costco's and um, this shit for free. It comes with a year, like I said, of Netgear armor, which I don't know if that's really worth anything. And you also get extra support, um, better support by buying it through Costco's. If you buy the Orbi 6, it is the heavenly, you know, highest rating um, router at the moment but it is going to be only a two pack unless you buy the three pack and a lot of people do like I would need a three pack because of my the way my house is structured and the, the length of it and stuff and the, the it's a brick house so it has some outside issues that I have to get past and stuff like that so when everybody wrote me about this one I just had to try it and I love it this is the one I'm sticking with right now I'm getting incredible speeds even though I've had Lots and lots of issues here with AT&T. That's the only provider and I've talked about that in other videos I'm still getting four to five hundred off of this and that is a miracle Considering all the things I've had to do and the hiccups and stuff I've had so this is a great great compromise if, if Costco runs it on sale like at Black Friday or any kind of specials Grab it up. You're gonna love it it's a little bigger than I think it needs to be, but I think that's because they're using Wi-Fi 6 and they're using some better, stronger antennas. And you're going to get um, just a more solid connection. The beauty, the beauty and the difference between these two beyond that Ethernet ports and the, wi the wireless connection, this being a 3-pack and this being a 2-pack, and this not, the, <clears throat> and the Nest not having Wi-Fi, 6 and this having Wi-Fi 6. The other major difference in these is this one, the Orbi 6 AX4200 has a backhaul channel and this one does not. So that's another pretty big difference. So basically what that means is the Nest Wi-Fi has to use its own Wi-Fi network to talk between the points in the router and all that stuff which is like another thing on your network that's, that's causing noise and causing stuff. The Orbi 6 X4200 and the or Orbi 6, um, the one I talked about in the other video, have a, what's called a backhaul channel. They talk to each other through a total separate network and they don't create noise on your network. So that allows them to handle up to 60 devices without any issues. Now that doesn't mean that only 60 devices can connect to this. Somebody wrote in the Orbi 6 that, oh my goodness, I have a lot more than that. And so why am I paying all this money if it can't connect to 60 devices? That just means that it can handle at one time that many devices and keep a solid connection. And that's why you're going to find that it's a much bigger profile than your Google Wi-Fi or your Nest Wi-Fi. And I also have this one. This is kind of legacy now. It's the Google Wi-Fi and it, it had three pucks and it, it would not handle probably more than 10 or 20 devices at a time. The Nest will not handle more than 20 devices at a time. That's when you get into some major issues and where this one can handle, you know, you can stream a movie and you have, uh, maybe you have Nest cameras and they're, 
you know, you've got four or five Nest cameras that are streaming and you have a doorbell that's watching the front of your house and you also have maybe someone on the computer and someone on a phone and all this stuff going on at one time, you want your router to be able to handle all that at full speed strength and not drop its speed. With Nest Wi-Fi, you're gonna see speeds reduced to handle those different connections because it's just not built for that. Same with the Google Wi-Fi and um, anything at that price point. You're gonna spend $100, $200 more for the Orbi 6, but it's gonna be worth it. It's just my, it's just my uh, personal opinion and the facts of the kit, you know, of the difference and the options and stuff you're getting for the extra money. The app for both is super easy. Google, of course, makes it super easy to set up Google Wi-Fi and Nest Wi-Fi. It's really easy. The new Nest Wi-Fi is all done in the, the Google Home app. Everything's going to the Google Home app, so you have one place for everything. All your Nest, all your Google Homes, all your Hubs, everything Google is gonna be in Google Home. It makes it really super easy to organize your rooms, to turn lights on, to you know control your display settings, to control your Nest doorbell, your cameras, all that in one place. Uh, the, the Orbi, uh, the brand new Orbi app that came out a few months ago with their new releases is beautiful too. Super easy. I've had no issues. Um, both take about 10 to 15 minutes to set up and you're off and going depending on your situation. This one um, just pops up. You set up the, rout the router. One is, de one is defined as the router and it's marked clearly when you take them out of the box. And then you have your two satellites. They call them satellites. Google calls them points. So you have your two satellites in here and your app will detect those. You plug them all up and then you open the app up, set your router up. You will need to unplug your modem. And if you have a router that has a pass through like AT&T, you need to unplug both of those and then plug them back in. That just gives them a nice reset. Then you plug your router and your, your satellites up. Just plug them up, connect them up, open the app. There's a, a QR code, the app will ask you to scan that, and then it will set up your router. It will let you choose if you want a unique name and password for that router. It'll let you set up your admin password, and then it will say, okay, that's complete. Now we're gonna set up your satellites, and we'll go find your satellites and set those up and connect the mesh network, make sure everything's good and set up right. And then after that, you're going to want to run a speed test to make sure you're getting a solid connection and then use some other tools like Google speed test, um, speedtest.net. They've got a great app on iPhone and Android as well as on your computer and even Apple TV. Um, so you can run tests that way to kind of get a comparison. Um, and there's a few others too that are out there that will give you some kind of idea, a basic idea of average of what your speed is and then you're off to the races and you're good. I've been using this for about three weeks now just to, I wanted to test it. I've been just watching it closely everywhere I'm at in the house, close to the router, away from the router, near the satellites, just to see if it's gonna be stable and connected strongly and, um, and not you know, drop or lose anything. I don't, want a, I don't want a router that gives me 500 one minute and then 200 the next. I was actually getting that on here and on my Google Wi-Fi, which is why decided to go and research all these and decide to switch. I originally had Google Wi-Fi, which worked beautifully in all my other houses, so I got here and I've had a lot of trouble with AT&T. And it just, I added a lot more devices and a lot more things that I needed for work because of everything I work from home more. And so when Nest Wi-Fi came out, I thought, awesome, you know, it's gonna be an upgrade, it's gonna work great, it's gonna be faster. And I went out and bought it because it's just like super simple. I have a lot of Google products and it just made sense, but I wasn't getting any faster speeds. In, in fact, it's getting less speeds than I was in Google Wi-Fi and it was all over the place. And it was giving me, like I would play Fortnite on my PS4 and sometimes it would be beautiful and other times it would say you have no connection and I was having drops. And so I just like, no, I can't have this. So I went back to Google Wi-Fi, but it just was like, it's like, you know, I've got a gigabyte and I'm getting like a hundred um, maybe around the house. So I went to Orbi 6 and I had some trouble there for, for $800, $700, depending on where you buy it. I was like, I'm just not getting, I'm getting like 300. And so I did a lot more research and settings and stuff like that. And you guys reached out to me about this. So I got this and I love it. I needed three because even though my house is about 2,500 square feet, just the setup, the two story and the length and stuff, um, I needed something to handle more. 
and to give me that give me that flexibility out to my devices that are in the garage in the back and the front of the house outside and stuff like that so i'm super happy and highly recommend that you get the orby ax 4200 um, if you have less than like you know you're at like 200 megabytes per second the google wi-fi or the nest wi-fi is going to be perfect for you um, if you need something like um, to be able to plug in to your to your points I suggest you find the Google Wi-Fi. It's not really being made anymore, but you can find it on eBay and places like that. Um, or go to a, a system like this that has those in the back and can give you that, that ability. I hope this video has helped you. I hope I've covered everything for you on the major differences between these. Um, Wi-Fi 6 is a big deal. If you're getting a new router, you might as well invest in that because a lot of devices are going to that and what Wi-Fi 6 is is it gives you the ability to get faster connections and more stable connections so the technology is giving a higher stream rate of taking your your internet connection and blasting it out into your house at a higher speed rate because Wi-Fi normally is around half you might get 60% of your speed depending on the router and how much you spend some people get uh, upwards of 900 to a gig on a gig but they're using super expensive routers they're in a perfect situation they don't have any obstructions and all that good stuff so on average you're gonna get 50 to 60 percent of your main connection from your ISP your internet provider like AT&T Comcast something like that which is great on Google Wi-Fi I was getting a tenth of my speed around a hundred sometimes even 50 I was getting all these huge highs and lows so that's Wi-Fi 6 is going to give you not only faster connection blast out into your house, but it's going to give you a more stable connection. It's going to be able to talk to those devices in a smoother, more um, intelligent way to make sure that it's getting the right connection and the fastest connection and the closest connection to that as we go into more and more mesh networks. There's still a lot of old school people that like one router like you had in the back in the day that just blast out to the whole house. But it's very difficult to, and expensive to get one router to really give you that stream speed blast all the way from front to back, outside, inside. You know, with mesh, you're, you're basically spreading your network around and giving your giving yourself some some room for this this satellite or point to handle some devices this one to handle some they're all talking back to the the router of course but it just kind of spreads things out and extends your network out a little further and so um, a lot of new devices are coming out with it that support it and then your router has it so they can talk to each other the great thing is if you have stuff that has older stuff like wi-fi 4 wi-fi 5 um, it it still gives you a little bump in um, speed and in connection stability uh, not a lot but it is backwards compatible so don't worry about that you don't have to go upgrade all your devices no worries there um, I hope that this video helps you I hope that it guides you because I know it can be really tricky especially if you're not a techie person to know what route is right for me how much should I spend all that stuff so that's what all my videos on my channel about routers is for to try to help you um, understand that I hope that's what this video did I will catch your beautiful faces in the next Zach's video if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button it's free to do so cancel at any time it's right down here and you will get notified first when I put up great new videos and content for you we'd love to have you part of Zach's family hit the like down below right here hit that thumbs up so other people know you liked it and they sorry can... I'm having trouble hearing you gotta love Siri and they they can know that the video is great and watch it as well and it'll help them as well comment below if you have any questions or concerns you hate it you love it you've tried it you doubt anything like that I'm gonna try to respond to you down there or we have some great Zacchaeus fans and Zacchaeus uh, subscribers that are way better at me than at this tech stuff than I am they will comment too and help you out it's a great Zacchaeus family we got here Love seeing your beautiful faces. I will catch you in the next Zacchaeus video. Peace.